What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, happy as Larry Group. I hope you are well. And welcome to your daily dose of happiness. I hope you've had a great week. It is Friday today. Yes, the weekend is almost here. And today I want to talk to you guys about accepting criticism. Accepting criticism. It's such a it's such a powerful thing to be able to openly accept criticism. Now, there is a now. There's no but. There might be a but. But, ah, there we go. There was a but. <laughs> there are things that we need to consider when we are uh, accepting criticism. And this is stuff that has come up for me. And these are things that I have seen through practice. I've seen working with others and, you know, just kind of in general. And one of the biggest lessons I've learned from this, you know, when we accept criticism, if we're doing something that's different, and this is something that I really want you to take on board, especially with currently what's going on at the moment, what we're all going through separately, together, globally, there is a lot of criticism going around. There is a lot of criticism. People have different views, people have different beliefs, people are doing different things. And in all honesty, you know, it's it, we all have individual choices with what we decide to do. Aside from currently what's going on at the moment, this is no different in life. In life, this is no different. There is always gonna be one or two or many who are gonna criticize what you do. Why? Because they don't understand what you do. That's why people criticize. So accepting criticism will allow you to realize and allow you to stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, stay focused on your vision, stay focused on your dreams, stay focused on what you are meant to be, who you are meant to become, the tough challenges that you're going through at the moment, when people are telling you that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy, that you can't do it, that it's impossible. Use that as fuel. Remember I've said in previous videos, you wanna kill a big dream, tell it to a small-minded person. And this ripple effects into every single one of us. So it's, we're not demonizing one person or, or others. Is We are all given individual dreams. We are all given individual purposes. We're all here to live individual lives. So of course, not everybody is gonna support us. Of course, not everybody is gonna understand our personalities, how quirky we are, how geeky, how strong, how serious. Some people just won't understand. Now, that's something that I want us all to understand too, because I had to understand both folds of this, is understanding that I have my vision and I have my belief systems and I have how I behave, how I laugh, how I live my life, the things that I choose to do and be, say or do. But on the same side, well, so do you. And so does everybody else in life. So accepting criticism comes in two folds that accept criticism from others, but also remember not to be judgmental of others because you're also living your personal life. You are also experiencing your own things. So you may not see somebody else's dreams. You may not see somebody else's goals or somebody else's mission or how they are. You might not agree. You might not like a person. And one of the sayings I really love is never judge a book by its cover. Read the story, find out for yourself. You know, these things are so important as we continue to experience life because it allows us to grow more and more and more within. The answers that we need are within. So accept criticism, say thank you for your views. Thank you so much for sharing that. I'll take it on board. Or if somebody is being massively negative and they don't believe in what you're doing, just say, okay, thank you for sharing and continue on your vision. Sometimes it's hard because we do get pulled into those energies and we do get pulled into arguments and discussions. But one of the most beautiful things Lucy said to me is don't get in the ring. Unless you wanna have a fight, don't get in a ring. <laughs> so I love a good fight, but I've learned to jump out of the ring because it affects my vision, it affects who I am, it affects my mission, who I wanna be as a person, all of the things that I wanna do and become. So I've had to jump out of the ring and to continue just to focus on me. 
Now, there are a few, there are a few. Now, this is really, really important. There are a few who are going to question or they're going to ask questions about what you were doing. What's the purpose? What do you get from it? What are the benefits? Why? How? What? When? Listen to those individuals because they are inquisitive. They are interested. They are secretly, maybe without legging too much out, they're on your side. They are on the same journey. And what that does is if you allow those people in as slowly as they are by exchanging conversations, by exchanging ideas, by not being guarded, having your boundaries in place, but being open, honest, vulnerable, that could be a huge change. Not it could, it will be a huge change because those individuals often join your tribe, they join your community, they join your purpose because they're on the same mission. They may be having a different experience, but they believe what you do, they see what you see, they hear what you hear, they speak what you speak. So it's so important that you look out for those people and don't demonize or shut those people off because they are the ones who help the ripple effect to grow, to manifest. And it's so important that you keep those people close to you as you're continuing on your journey, as you continue to accept criticism, as you continue to come across more and more of these people, the inquisitive ones, and they will continue to join you. They wanna find out how you got there. They wanna find out what you did. What are the benefits? How did you do it? Can you teach me? These are things that I started to get more and more and more and more now. Why? Because I stayed in my lane. I got out of the ring and I went, I want nothing to do with this. I'm gonna focus on me. And as soon as I carried on focus on me, the doors just continue opening and the inquisitive ones just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. And now, the ripple effect continues. What are you doing? What did you do? Oh, I spoke to so-and-so and he or she helped me. And that's the ripple effect because eventually those people who are afraid, and that's what it is, it's fear. Those people who are afraid to stand in their own ground, to be different because they want to be part of the comfort. They want to be part of you know, just the, the easy going, you know, they don't want to speak up, they don't want to, they don't want to do anything different, they don't want to grow mentally, physically, spiritually, they're just comfortable in their lives because unfortunately, they believe that that's what their life is. We were told this a couple of times this week, it was something that came up, it's like, well, you know what, I just, you know, I think I'm just, I'm just here, to, I'm just made to be mediocre. And I just wanted to explode because I was like, no, that's not who you are. No, do not accept that. Do not accept mediocrity. Do not accept just this base level stuff that we get told that we should or shouldn't be. That's not who you are. That is not who you are. And you need to take responsibility and accountability for that. And watch out for those people who are being different. Watch out for those people who are speaking up. Watch out for those people who are doing the things that you love. Reach out to them, find out what did you do? What do you do? Can you show me? Can you coach me? Can you teach me? And then you start to see the benefits and the benefits ripple effect. So accept, accept, accept those criticisms because eventually the critics will join your tribe. The critics will join your community. The critics will stand next to you as you continue to grow. I have seen this so many times and it's not coming from a place of ego, look at me, look, see what I can do. No, because you'll get humbled. It comes from a place of love, unconditional love. The love that that person showed you once when you were searching. The unconditional love that that person showed you when you were looking and when you didn't know what to do. And you were the inquisitive one and you asked for help. Continue spreading that love, kindness, compassion, tolerance. And that also continues to ripple effect. And that these energy levels, these are the highest energy levels we can possibly have. Of course, there are much higher levels of consciousness, but when you're living here every single day and you're practicing this, love, kindness, compassion, tolerance, these four things are 
key not just for your personal growth but for the growth of others as well and this, as this continues to ripple effect imagine this you're standing in your purpose in your life and you're the happiest most fulfilled you've ever been and you go in and you pass that down to your children to your family the people around you because your energy ripple effects people can feel that they will see it you don't have to say anything and then what happens is then you pass that same kindness on and the same unconditional love and the same compassion and the same tolerance. And what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> Why do you think I love doing these videos? So embrace these things. Don't let these things bring you down. Don't let these things be negative. There is so much negativity in the world right now. There is so much criticism. And what we try to do is we fight. We try to fight with facts and figures and, and all of these names and labels. And we start calling each other names. And what do you think we're doing? We're lowering our vibration because we're going in with ego. We're going in with fear. I know best, you know nothing. And we're still running around the same circle. We're still jumping in that ring, doing the same things over and over again and wondering, why isn't my life changing? Think about that. If you're in the ring and you're participating in things that aren't healthy, they are based in fear and ego and anger and resentment and all of those energy systems. These are very low energy systems. This is the kind of stuff that keeps you sick in mind, body, spirit. These are the things that come out in stress, depression, anxiety, mental health issues, addiction. So start to do things differently, but you have to take the steps. It's not about anybody else. Accept this criticism, stay in your lane. Keep doing what you're doing. You are absolutely phenomenal and I love you. Have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, be great, be fantastic and be absolutely phenomenal today. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Take care.